Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, my beautiful and powerful MBP family. Today is Sunday. And your girl, Miss Bev, is here to do So good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, so I'm just dropping in for a quick, 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 quick minute. This is not going to be a long video. It's just going to get you... Um, ready for our live tonight again our live tonight is just basically to talk about people who um, bought property and then there's no um, title for your property and so I'll give you some information um, and just a chit chat with you on a Sunday evening after dinner after homeworks are done kids clothes are ready for school you are ready for Monday's work so I posted yesterday a quick, a quick, 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 um, hey, Mr. Roa, good morning, um, a short, and in the short I mentioned, you know that I did a video with Jamaica No Problem Man or Jamaica Be Patient Man, and so in the in the short, I mentioned that again with the patience of Jamaica, Jamaica no problem or Jamaica be patient. And my cousin, Mr. Ruben, more power to you, giving a big, 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 big shout out, donated $100 to Kayla's support um, for her schooling and lunch money. And um, she said to me, wait a minute, cuz you need to brand that. So this is the first shirt I did last night, guys. Um, Jamaica, be patient, man. So if anybody wants to wear something like this, if you want to wear it, I do have some t-shirts. I have large, I have medium. I have four X's, guys. Um, this is a four X. I know it's big, but I like it. I like the big shirts. So I should really be wearing it. A two X fits, but it's a little snug. I don't like snug clothes. Um, 3x fits okay, but I like 4x better. So yeah, it's big. It has a lot of room in it. So it could hold another person. <laughs> but I like it. I like it. I like it. So if you want to wear one of them guys, Jamaica, be patient, man. Um, I'm going to also do another one. Um, I will, when I do it, I will let you see it. So it's two of them I'm going to brand. Jamaica, be patient, man. And that stems from... Just the long waits that you have to really wait when you go into these places. And just to be reminded that this is a, a developing country. It doesn't have a lot of resources. Of course, we're trying to be capitalistic, but we don't have the, the, the resources. And so it is putting stress and strain on infrastructure, especially with the man who died at Sangster's International Airport um, when it comes to not even being able, she, he fell, he, maybe he fainted, maybe something happened, he had a, I don't know what happened, um, but in the video that I saw, in the video that I saw, he passed out at the, right there in the airport in line, he was on line, going, flying home in JetBlue, and he fell, obviously he, he opened, something broke, something um busted so he was bleeding and he died right there on the floor um because there was they, they, they needed the one ambulance that was a corner regional hospital was not available to come take him to get help and so i wondered where were the policemen who were supposed to be trained to stop bleedings or to help move people in case of emergencies like that. What about the fire department? Where were the fire people? Um, shouldn't there be something in place? I, I, I was saying to my cousin, because she shared it with me, of, and, um, and I think she f shared it from Facebook, I think, but I told her I didn't have Facebook, so I couldn't access it. So she sent it to me on on, on another I think um, from YouTube and and that was the, the thing I was saying this was an, an airplane crash what would have happened you're telling me only one ambulance at the at the public hospital down there in Montego Bay one in that big big city 
it's a tourist area it's a tourist area for god's sake but like america you know like ambulances become privatized i remember it hurting my knee at work i i don't know what happened i was going up the stairs with the students and there was just a sharp pain in that hit my knee as i stepped up on on the step and and so i went down and when i went down this other teacher saw me and he says you're not gonna move one 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 step further because if something um happened in that knee we need to make sure it's okay and so create this big excitement called the nurse the nurse came with it was too funny she came with a cane that didn't have the rubber thing on the bottom so just imagine that metal on the on the on the <laughs> And the ceramic tiles on the tiles and then she came with the wheelchair and um, they brought me to the office and then they called an ambulance my son was there in like two minutes I said boy where were you outside and um, but he was there I love these kids you know so he was there he says you're my mother <laughs> I don't want anything happening to you I have to be here so by the time I got to the hospital the girls were there Sherry was there so that was that's beside the point I'm just saying that the ambulance that came for me was a private one and it took me like six minutes to the hospital and when the bill came it was over six hundred dollars so i could understand in this situation where the man he he needed support and they're saying that before they even moved him they had to hear from the family if they were willing to pay the $400 US to for that, that private ambulance to come and get him. I said, oh my God, this is Jamaica, guys. So Jamaica, we got to do better. Um, yeah, we, we're becoming this capitalistic thing, but can we maintain it? The rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer, and if you can't afford it, God help you, you're going to just die on an airport floor an airport for god's sakes and so i just really need to speak on that today so i did this t-shirt and i'm going to brand another one i'm going to do another one personalize another one later tonight maybe after or maybe i try to get it done before because right now i'm going out i'm waiting for the taxi to come and um i'm probably branded so i could show it on the live tonight so I'm just hoping that we get things done so I could really, really go live tonight and um, get this person. This should have been here 30 minutes ago. And we're still here waiting. But patience, right? <laughs> Jamaica, be patient, man. Miss Bev, be patient, girl. <laughs> be patient, be patient. Yeah, but I really need to get some things done. So I want to be ready for the live later. Um, so... That's how it goes, guys. Listen, what are you going to do? It's like, you know, you enjoy each moment. Just enjoy them. Just enjoy them. Just enjoy them. And I, I, I pray and hope that this man and his family, um, that his family, um, everything is, 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 is taken care of. I know it has to be a tough time for them. Um, but God knows best. You know, sometimes things happen in life. We can't even figure it out. We can't even stop to figure. We can't even. We can't even begin. And so, all I'm saying to us, just be encouraged and just say, God knows best. He knows the reason why. We will never know and understand it, but He knows it. So make it a great day by trust, my powerful people. Be patient. Be patient.